In this video, we're going to be covering the hip fit arms and range of motion movements for the month of October. Our first one is going to be an L shoulder raise. So I'm going to find a pair of light dumbbells for this one. I'm going to be seated on the edge of my bench, finding the tallest spine possible. And then here's where the L comes from. I'm going to do a front raise and a lateral raise simultaneously. So I've got lifting up, notice my arms about the shape of an L, and then right back down with control. I have like a soft bend in my elbows. I'm not fully extending my arms. This is definitely a lot of good shoulder work here. So just a couple more reps. We're gonna be alternating sides or doing all reps on one side than the other. All right, that is our L shoulder raise. For the next movement, we'll be working on the pinwheel curls. So what I need for this one is a resistance band and it's looped into the front of my bench. I'm gonna make sure I grab hold of those handles, come on up to a nice tall spine first. So establishing a nice tall spine coming into my chair squat position. So now I'm gonna work on holding one arm in a nice isometric position here, holding the bicep flexion, and then the opposite arm is doing a full curl. And noticing my arm, my pinky finger is trying to rotate in towards my shoulder, and then rotating the palm back in. So let's see that again a couple more times on this side, all while holding the curl on the opposite arm. And then just to see on the other side, holding the opposite arm in an isometric curl, and then twisting the pinky finger in and up for that bicep curl on that side. See that again, bam. And that, you guys, is our pinwheel curls. For the final movement, we'll be working on the Warrior II press out. So what I need for this guy is one moderate to heavy band. I'm gonna find my hands about shoulder distance apart. And then just know if you thread your fingertips closer together, you're gonna get more resistance and then threading the band out the opposite way is gonna be less resistance. So what I wanna to need to find is a warrior two position in my legs. So I'm noticing as I step into my warrior two, my knee is tractioning in line with my toes. I'm gonna to try to find a nice deep lunge on that side for the range of motion. From here, shoulders soft down away from the ears. I'm holding my arms to make sure it's about shoulder distance apart and then pulling it in towards my chest, making sure my elbows aren't dumping down. They're up nice and high. And now here's where the tricep work comes in. I'm going to press the band straight out, firming my triceps, and then nice and controlled, pulling back in. So extension out through the arm, pulling back. So I've got all repetitions on that side, and I find my warrior two on the opposite side. Same idea, elbows are nice and high. I work on that press out towards my lead leg. One more time, press it out, and back in. We can also take that warrior two position out completely, just coming to a standing position, working the triceps just like so. So you can do all repetitions on one side or alternate sides. And that is our warrior two press out.